today I am going to discuss about types of angles and pairs of angles. Now we know there are generally six types of angles. These are acute angle, right angle, obtuse angle, straight angle, reflex angle, and complete angle. <coughs> now I discuss this only with the help of the figure. That means help with diagram. Now you see here number one. <coughs> acute angle. Acute angle A O B. That means the angle whose measure is less than 90 degree. It is that is for 90. But only this one is what? Less than 90. So, an acute angle, that means the, an angle whose measure is less than 90 degrees called the acute angle. Now, next one, next one, right angle. Right angle. <coughs> An angle whose degree measure is 90 degree. An angle whose degree measure is what? 90 degree is called a right angle. Next one, obtuse angle. Obtuse angle means what? An angle measure is greater than 90 it is 90 so this angle like this this one greater than 90 up to that one 90 so each angle is what that greater than 90 and less than 180 whole is what 180 and <coughs> only this one is less than 180 obvious angle means what an angle whose measure is greater than 90 degree but less than 180 degree called the obtuse angle. Now next one, straight angle, straight angle. Straight angles, angle, sum of, huh, that means the angle is 180. The degree measure of an angle is what? 180. It is called the straight angle. Up to this one it is 90 and up to that one it is 90. That means total is 180. So an angle whose degree measure is 180 degree it is called the straight angle. Next one is what? Reflex angle. An angle whose degree measure is greater than 180. Up to this one is what? 180. But greater than 180 and less than 360. This is 180 and again that is what? 180. Total is what? 360. Go. A, an angle whose degree measure is greater than 180 and less than 360 degree is called of is called reflex angle. Now next one complete angle. This one that I discuss you like this. Uh, that means a whole. It is what complete angle. Now you see here. Except the types of angles, there is another pairs of angles. Pairs of angles. Now, <coughs> types of pairs of angles. Types of pairs of angles. There are four types of pairs of angles. These are number.
number one. Add the sun angle. Number one, add the sun angle. Add the sun angle means what? Suppose we see here. It is an angle. And two angles said to be adjacent. Adjacent angle. Number one. Number one is uh, uh, types of pairs of angles. Types of, of pairs of angles. <coughs> types of pairs of angles. Number one. Air. The sun angle. Adjacent angle means what? Two angles are said to be adjacent. Two angles are said to be adjacent. Suppose two angles. <coughs> These two angles said to be adjacent. Two angles are said to be um, adjacent, said to be adjacent angle if there is a common vertex. It is called vertex. It is called what? Vertex. Common vertex and common arm. This one is called common arm. So, L and L. two angles are said to be at the same if they have a common vertex and a common arm between other arms, between, between, uh, between two arms. These are the another two arms. These are the another two arms. <coughs> that means, Two angles are said to be adjacent angles. It is number one angle, it is number two angle. If it has common vertex and has a common arm between other two arms. Between other two arms. Next portion is for, <coughs> for this. What is linear pair? What is linear pair? Linear linear pair, linear pair, pair of angles. Pair of angles. Now we see here a pair of adjacent angle. A pair of adjacent angles is said to be formed. Is said to be formed. A linear. That means a pair of adjacent angles is said to be form a linear pair. If the non-common arms lie on the same plane, non-common arms lie on the same line. That means it is the what? Adjacent angles. That is the adjacent, adjacent angles. So, we can tell us means a pair of the adjacent angles is said to be form of a linear pair. If the non-common arms, this is the non-common arms, it is the common arm, it is what? Common arm. And these are the non common arms. <coughs> if the non common arms are lie on the same line, that is, this is not the, these two adjacent angles is not the linear pair. It will be like this. If this line and this line is not on the same plane. Why it is not the linear pair? Because these the uncommon, these the non-common arms are not lie on the same plane. Then what will be the its 
diagram. When this line comes in that position, then it will be the linear pair of angles. Suppose <coughs> that one is a <coughs> angle and this one is a angle. This angle is also called the adjacent angle. But here the non-common sides, this and this, lie on the same line. Lie on the same line. So we can write as <coughs> angle 1 and angle 2. That means angle 1 equal to uh, angle 1 plus angle 2 equal to 180. Here you see here. All the linear pairs of angles, that means the linear pairs of angles are always adjacent angles. Linear pairs of angles are always adjacent angles, but all the adjacent angles are not linear. Because if it is adjacent, then it never be linear. But this linear Maybe the not may, but adjacent. Because adjacent may be that is also adjacent angle. That is also adjacent angle. That is also adjacent angle. So <coughs> linear pair of angles always adjacent and but the all adjacent are not linear. <coughs> now Another part of already we have discussed adjacent angles, linear pair of angles. Next angle is what? Complementary angle. Next angle is what? Complementary angle. <coughs> Complementary angle. Complementary angle. No. Now you see here, complementary means what? It is also the adjacent angles. It is also the adjacent angles, but not the linear angles. Pair of linear angles. <coughs> the sum of the two angles are said to be complement. Two angles are said to be complement. This angle and this angle are said to be complement if sum of their degree measure is 90 degree. Sum of their degree measure is 90 degree. Suppose this is the complement, complement always attached to 90 degree. Now one angle is that one. Suppose it is what? 30 degree. Then other is what? 90 minus 30 means it is the 50 degree. So, though it is the adjacent, but especially it is called the complementary angle. That means the two angles are said to be complement if sum of the two angles is 90 degree. It is called the complementary angle. Then one angle is called the complement to the other. Like this. Supplementary angles, this is also <coughs> adjacent angles, this is also pair of linear angles. No, so supplementary angles means that two adjacent angles are said to be supplement. If the sum of their angles is equal to 180 degree. Some of the angle is what? 180 degree. If this angle is 1, if the angle is 2, then angle 1 plus angle 2 equal to 180 degree. <coughs> it is called the supplementary angle. It is called the supplementary angle. The two angles are said to be supplement 
if the between the zero of the two angle is one eighty degree. These are the supplementary hmm, supplementary angles and another pairs type of the pairs angle means vertically opposite angles. Vertically opposite angles. This is what. Question is, find the degree measure 
degree measure of angle of an angle which is 4 by 5 of its supplement. Now we see as there is related to supplement. As there is related to supplement, that means we know angle related to complement is 90. Angle related, related to supplement is what? 180. So, we have to start like this. Supplement is what? 180 degree. Like this. Then, find the angle measure of an angle. Degree measure of an angle, which is over the fifth of each supplement. This supplement angle, what is the supplement? I don't know. So, I consider let the supplement angle be. Let the supplement angle be S. Let the supplement angle be S. Suppose here you see here it is S. It is S. Then, then, other is what? 4 by 5 of X. 4 by 5 of X. 4 by 5 of X. <coughs> the question is this one. Supplement angle X, then other is what? 4 by 5 of X. So we can write this. This angle can be explained in what? Two types. Like this is the pair of linear angles. In the pair of linear angles, what? That plus that is equal to 180. Otherwise, we can explain it by the straight angle because sum of the two angles is what? 90 degrees and it is the straight angle. Uh, now you see here. <coughs> we can so we can write as so other angle B 4 by 5 of X. <coughs> Therefore, sum of these two is 180. Sum of these two is what? 180. So we can write as X plus 4 by 5 of x equal to 180 degrees. That is x plus of mathematically it is indicate multiply. So 4x by 5 equal to 180 degrees. Now take a CM 5x plus 4x equal to 180 degree. Now, this I have to cancel by cross multiplication or otherwise multiplying both sides by 5. As there is denominator is 5. So, 5 into 5x, that means it is what? 9x. Already we have 5. 9x by 5 equal to 180. 9x by 5 equal to 180. Now, <coughs> 9x by 5 equal to 180. As there is 5 in the denominator, we can, that is, multiplying by 5, 5 into 9x by 5, equal to 5 into 180, if we multiply one side 5, then that means it will be wrong, so we have to multiply both sides by 5, that is, 9x equal to, <coughs> 
900 degree. Therefore, x equal to 900 degree by 9. Therefore, x equal to 100 degree. X equal to 100 degree. Now you see here. That's equal to 90. Huh? Otherwise, that may be in that side 90, no? Uh, 100. Then, other side is what? 180 minus 100. 180 minus this 100. Then it is what? Other angle. So, other one angle is what? That means supplement is 100. Supplement is 100. So required angle, required angle equal to 180 minus 100 degree means what? 80 degree. Because find the degree measure of an angle. This is one angle is what? Supplement angle is 100 and we have to find the other angle means 180 minus this 100. That is 80 degree. It is a required angle. Find the complement of 10 degree angle. Find the complement of 10 degree angle. Complement is related to 90 degree. Complement is related to 90 degree. It is 10 degree and that one is complement. Complement is related to 90 degree and one angle is given. It is 10 degree. So this measurement will be the 90 minus 10. 90 minus 10. So you see here, therefore, find the complement. Complement angle of complement angle of 10 degree equal to 90 degree minus 10 degree that is 80 degree that is what 80 degree now another problem very important one another is very important one from the diagram, from the diagram, we find the larger angle. From the diagram, diagram, find the larger angle. From the diagram of figure, Find the, find the larger angle. <coughs> you see here, figure is, figure is that one, figure is what? That one, and <coughs> angle given, x, 2x minus 70, and that one is given x by 2 plus 55 degrees. You see here. This is, these are the angles. These are the angles. And measure of this angle is what? 2x minus 70. And measure of this angle is what? x by 2 plus 55. We have to find the larger angle. <coughs> now you see here, this is angle number 1, this is angle number 2. This apply 
applying the straight angle, applying the straight angle, or by applying the pair of linear angles, this plus that equal to 180. This plus that equal to 180. Solution.
minus 70 degree that means 2 into 78 degree minus 70 degree 2 into 78 degree minus what? 70 degree means what? Means 156 minus 70. 156 minus 70 means what? 86 degree. <coughs> number one, therefore, number one angle. Number one angle equal to what? 86. Number one equal to what? 86. Again, angle two. Again, angle 2 equal to what? Angle 2 means small. x by 2. x by 2 plus 55 degree. x by 2 plus 55 degree. x means what? 78 degree by 2 plus 55. x means what? 78 degree <coughs> divided by 2 plus 55 that means 3 and that degree 39 plus 55 39 plus 55 equal to 492 degree so we can write as angle 1 is what? Angle 1 we have 86 degree, angle 2 we have 94. Therefore, which is the greater one? Which is the larger one? Therefore, <coughs> larger angle is larger angle is 94 degree. Larger angle is what? 94 degree. Degree. Thus, we can solve many other problems. <coughs> if you know the geometrical that is systems or the geometrical system, then you can easily do as big problems. Now, last problem is what? Last problem of explanation. Vertically opposite angle. Vertically. Opposite angle. You saw here it is A, it is B, it is C, it is D, it is the intersecting point. Now, then this angle 1 equal to this angle 3 and that angle 2 equal to this angle what? 4 this angle 2 equal to this angle 4 now you see that that means when two lines intersect then we get the figure and in that case angle 1 equal to angle 3 and angle 2 equal to angle 4 it is obtained from the definition now we have to prove it. So, question is what? Prove that vertically opposite opposite angles are are equal. <coughs> question is what? Prove that vertically opposite angles are equal now we do it very shortly we do it very shortly proof there is proof that P R O V proof that and there is what proof it is the noun form it is the verb form now we have to write suppose let a, B and C, D. Two lines 
kính sau sách ít chặt à là a b n c d two lines intersect each other f a plan four it is required to prove that